This is actually a lot of fun. I never tried that. Super soft trucks, first time ever. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is the Team G sale review. So let's get it. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. So in this vlog, I will review the Team G sale, their newest e-board recently announced on Kickstarter. I will get to all, all the shoutouts and all the links in a second. In this video, I will go mainly through the specs, go for acceleration, deceleration. There won't be a lot of writing. So if you're interested in that, you can maybe check out this video and I will also listen link tons of other videos in the description I filmed the video with tech magnet you can find all of that in the description so check it out and now let's get right to it so here it is that's the team G sale their newest e-board they recently launched this thing on Kickstarter it's already fun that it's crazy you can find all the links in the description if you're interested and also shout out to tech magnet thanks for providing this e-board and also check out our video that we did on Steven's channel on Tech Magnet if you want to see his review. Now I remember back in the day when the inboard M1 came out I was so freaking interested I wanted to know every single detail about this board. In the end I never bought it I couldn't afford it but nowadays these e-boards are so freaking cheap it's insane. So I hope with this video I can do you justice and provide a lot of useful information. So let's start with the stats. Well with the specs actually. This board has a 480 watt hub motor it's a single hub is this one right here and they say it is able to climb a 20 percent incline which is yeah it might do that i have no way for proving that at the moment it comes with a 24 volt battery 3.5 amp hours which totals to a capacity of 84 watt hours and believe it or not this power bank has the same capacity it's crazy i believe in this power bank there are eight 18650 batteries i'm not sure if they use these standard batteries probably but 24 volts is actually not the standard voltage you see on most of the other boards usually it's 36 volts and if this would be the case it would total to 126 watt hours but this is one of the few boards with only 24 volts they claim that their max speed their top speed is 32 kilometers per hour or around 20 miles per hour which is mostly true it's around 30 kilometers per hour or 18 miles per hour when we tested it now when it gets to the range that's just ridiculous 22 kilometers when i did the range test with ranking i think we were at 10 percent when we were at 10 kilometers so i would give this a max range of 10 to 12 kilometers but of course riding it full throttle this thing comes with 90 millimeter wheels 3.5 inches let's find out if that's the truth what it's actually what uh, okay i feel kind of stupid for bringing this <laughs> this lousy measurement tool <laughs> tool no this is correct though this is correct 80 millimeters 80 freak what no it's only 80 80 millimeters i don't know what happened here but on this board there are clearly 80 millimeter wheels it's a fairly light board only five kilograms or 11 lbs 11 pounds max load would be 100 kilograms or 220 lbs and the measurement 780 millimeters which is more like 790 millimeters that's correct 210 millimeters and a bit more than 780 millimeters and also the wheel span is around 26 centimeters 260 millimeters and last but not least this board is listed on kickstarter for 319 bucks dollars that's that's insane this is sub 300 euros this is just crazy this board is a great value that's for sure so let's get to the weight five kilograms oh <laughs> it is exactly five kilograms exactly so that's true don't know about the max load probably can take a bit more and lastly let's get to the remote it's super intuitive it's easy to understand literally right off the bat i was able to understand this thing you turn it on you have this little shifter for the speed modes three speed modes and if you press the power button it will show you nothing because first of all you need to turn on the board now if you press this power button it will show you the battery of the board you can switch the direction super intuitive super easy and another fact that i like about this remote is that you can slip it easily in one of your pockets 
and it won't go crazy as we know it from the joystick remote so that's cool one thing that i don't like about this remote is that it like this plastic seems to be super thin and flimsy this just seems like the cheapest injection mold there is basically it feels good it handles good but it's just like there is this it's like so ah so yeah i'm fine with the remote you can charge it right here there are two holes for a string <laughs> this one already got ripped off oh and also i thought about wrapping this remote in carbon foil so i took it apart and well i ripped off this cable and i was like why is this cable soldier to this other side this doesn't make sense and after realizing that it's pretty impossible to give it a you know a wrapping i just put it back together stuffed the cable somewhere in there and what happened next was when i rode it it started to vibrate all of, all of the time and it clearly had problems connecting to the board and then when i thought oh this this cable oh so i disassembled it again reconnected the cable to this other thing to the other side it turned out there's the antenna <laughs> now it's back to working another interesting insight i guess but yeah that's it so far for the specs and for the for the details and stuff like that before we get to a ride check it out that's the that's the hub right here regenerative braking of course 80 millimeters though don't know what happened like was this my mistake i don't even know single hub that's the charging port right here. That's the power button. It's a brushless DC motor, maple and fiber composite remote control, high strength bearing, high elasticity PU wheel, polyurethane. Let's go. Avoid high temperatures. Stay away from water. Oh, good to know. <laughs> That's good to know, I guess. That's the other side right here. I think the trucks, no, not the trucks, like the axle, I don't know what to call it. It looks kind of cool, but I don't like the graphic. Like, I do not like this this design whatsoever. Seriously, I do not like it. But this is this is pretty cool, like this blue and pink stuff. But no, that's uh, that's not that's not for me. By the way, on their Kickstarter, they have a product video, a review video, something like that, a demo. And it looks to me that they have really, really, the trucks are just so loose. It looked really fun and that's definitely something that you can do with this board. You can go for loose. Yeah, that's it. You can go for fairly loose settings. This will probably give you the best ride. I would never do this with the faster boards because the speed wobble will get insane. But you can definitely do it with this board. I would probably recommend it too for the best ride. Let's go. As I said, the trucks are super soft. Now check this out, this is crazy. Whoa. This is actually a lot of fun. I never tried that. Super soft trucks, first time ever. Kick tailing, easy. Let's go. This is so much fun, it's actually, it's a ton of fun. Damn, this is crazy. And they aren't even, they aren't even super soft. Oh, that turn radius though. This is so easy. Like, you can do that. Okay, not too bad though. It's so easy on this one though. Oh, it's so nice. And one last thing that I forgot to mention actually is when you're when you're going in the left corner and you shift your weight on this side, this wheel might lift up, especially with stiff trucks and then you will lose your ability to accelerate or decelerate. Keep that in mind. That's yet another, another con when it gets to the single hub. 
So that was my review of the sale. If you're interested in more eBorgs, then check out my next vlog. In this vlog, I will review the Kuh wheel. And in my next vlog, after this vlog, I will compare these two boards. I'll compare the sale with the Kuh wheel. Oh, by the way, and if you're interested, when the battery is empty, how it will handle and stuff, then check out the, the comparison right here. It's not like a, a versus. These are two very different products. Very interesting though. But yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash the like button. The way the sale won't smash your... Um, purse, your money, like your wallet. Wallet, what the hell. It's cheap, it's awesome. Bang the bell like crap, pa, to never miss e-board vlogs. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.